Ladies and gentlemen, let's get gaming to the home video. AMD have responded to the whole GameWorks fiasco. So just in case that you're not up to scratch with this, I've left a link in the video description because it's kind of a long tail. But basically what happened is that AMD were having an interview with Forbes, or should I say Robert Halleck from AMD was having an interview with Forbes. And it's quite a long interview and I covered this already in the article but pretty much he mentioned that Nvidia's game works is harmful for PC gaming and there's multiple reasons he cited including the fact that oftentimes it precludes optimizations from AMD in other words AMD can't say to a developer for example Ubisoft hey guys I actually don't think you should do it quite like that because it's going to harm the performance on our graphics cards or because it means that exclusive features are available for nvidia now i'm an nvidia owner right so that might sound great in theory but it's not necessarily and we'll go more into that in just a moment however before we do john mcdonald and this is the reason for the video john mcdonald is a former nvidia employee and he went on the offensive and quite a long rant he made but he said basically that in the last six years that I was a dev tech at NVIDIA not a single time asked a developer to deny access uh, a title to AMD or remove things that were beneficial to AMD so um, I decided to contact Robert Halleck myself I've had an interview with the chap he's really nice actually and um, I decided hey what's going on here because this story had been reported on a couple of different websites already and I was like well I I don't know what goes on and you know the you know what AMD or Nvidia say to developers I'm not privy to that information so I honestly just asked him you know what's exactly happening so he said and I quote um that rather than play he said she said I'm just going to point you into the comments of free games developers that confirm the black box or secretive nature of game works so he decided to point me to a couple of developers um, including from Ubisoft and from DICE I'm sure you're aware who they are and he begins well one of them begins uh, Bart Ronsky hopefully I'm pronouncing that right uh, it's in the article but I'll write it out to you I'll read it out to you guys anyway W R O N S K I am terrible with names I apologize but he said he starts off by and these all sources are linked by the way in the article he says still if Nvidia keeps secrecy they will shoot themselves in the f in their feet libraries and DLLs with only parameters t is to pass no source code Intel is much better Johan Anderson responds by saying Nvidia has lost a huge amount of respect with unusable black box game works. Michael Drobot um, said in retaliation, can't understand three dollar signs to model pay to hack games with features. Blasphemy. Now I'm gonna admit this isn't exactly a hundred percent smoking gun at Nvidia. And I can also understand Nvidia from a certain perspective, right? For example, one of my favorite go-tos with this is hardware physics because it's, I think, the technology that most PC gamers feel could be so much better. I'm an NVIDIA owner and I love hardware physics. I do. Some people pass it off as crap. In some cases, some games don't use it as well as it could be. But others just do use it beautifully. Batman, for example, uses it amazingly. Assassin's Creed uses it quite nice as well. There are other examples. But every time I use it and I think, wow, this is awesome, there's a part of me that thinks, why aren't all titles using it? And it's a very simple point of view. AMD graphics cards can't do it, so therefore it's very difficult for a studio to pretty much say, well, you know what, we're going to spend all this time optimizing this just for a let's just say 50% of the market share. It goes up and down, but let's just say 50%. Another point that you've got to make is that, generally speaking, if you're sensible, at least for me, I don't own NVIDIA because it's NVIDIA and they are the best thing ever and, you know, they're green and their logo makes me excited sexually. It's because I wanted hardware physics, to be honest. Um, specifically for the the channel it means that I can say I can show videos with hardware physics 
And that was pretty much it, right? There was no, I don't like AMD. I love AMD graphics cards. I have no problem with them. I owned several of them in the past. I've owned 3DFX. I've owned um, pretty much all of them, actually. And I just, I like all the studio. I like all of them. I think they're all great. But at the same time, I do feel that NVIDIA holding back hardware physics is being somewhat detrimental to the PC gaming industry. I feel that we could move forward and probably get better effects. And AMD with TressFX don't do that. They allow it to work on, well, any card. Now, that's not to say that it was completely optimized at the start. There were some problems with it for NVIDIA. But AMD said, well, you know what? Do whatever you want. NVIDIA released some drivers. There were some updates, for example, with Tomb Raider, and the performance got a hell of a lot better. And I don't exactly have frame rate figures on me, but it was a hell of a lot smoother. Now, if I was defending NVIDIA, I would point out that if I'm NVIDIA and I'm spending time and money and research into helping a studio, it doesn't matter what studio it is, let's just say it's Bob Studio and implementing these graphical effects and so on, then that's just how it is. And one could argue that this would be pretty much the same as Mantle, you know, where Mantle is available on, say, the Frostbite um, engines, Battlefield 4, there's better performance there, just how it is. And I can kind of agree with that. But at the end of the day, AMD have said that Mantle is available to NVIDIA, but there's just no point in them doing it with DirectX 12. And with DX12 coming out, it also kind of worries me. As excited as I am for DirectX 12, one thing that does concern me is that I don't want to see a situation where there's low-level driver optimization specifically for one side. So, for example, I've got NVIDIA, ha ha ha, I get 20 frames per second more because it's been super well optimized. On the other hand, if you're an AMD user, you basically are using higher level abstraction. This is one of those situations that I have no doubt that NVIDIA are most likely extremely secretive with their GameWorks technology. They do, for example, on their developer zone, you could check this out yourselves, you can do a Google. They do have quite a lot of information, for example, with CUDA. Uh, how to parallel program and stuff. I know because I enrolled on one of their own sponsored courses and they've got quite a bit of information. But how a lot of this stuff works behind the backgrounds for lower level optimization and stuff is still a little bit in the air. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I am extremely torn because I understand trade secrets, I understand that NVIDIA are investing a lot of money into their own technologies, but at the same time, I don't necessarily know if it's 100% good for the PC gaming platform, and there's, well, I've said a lot of stuff already, and it's one of those situations where I keep going backwards and forwards on it. Um, I don't particularly feel that either NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel are winning in this particular situation, because at the end of the day, it's like, we are the customers and we're going to buy the better card. So, I think AMD at the moment, I think many would agree, I would certainly agree, and I'm a 780 Ti owner, that honestly, AMD probably have the better price to performance. I mean, for the love of God, look at the Titan Z. Look at it. Look at the price. Look at the specs. No one sane who has a disposable income of a finite amount. In other words, yeah, sure, if you're super rich, you know, go ahead and buy it. But if you're not super rich, there's just no point in buying it. You'd buy the 295 X2, or you'd buy a 780 Ti if you've got, you know, if you want to go a single card route, or you might go with the R9 290, whatever. Depends, obviously, completely on your budget. So, it's, it's really just a really, really tricky situation, and this is one of those situations, that, honestly, I don't necessarily know if there's an answer that's going to be right away. It just concerns me with DirectX 12 in the future. With optimization, I don't want a situation where one manufacturer really benefits from it and the other one doesn't so much. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.